eating is very important about happiness. So what, what you're putting into your body, you feel it. So the more fruit and vegetables and you know nuts and beans you're eating, raw organic foods are the best. You feel so much better. Now, people, there's people who eat meat and are very happy, but I'm sure they don't eat you know 10 pounds of meat every week or something like that. They probably, probably eat a very balanced diet. So it's okay to eat meat, but make sure it's very balanced and the meat is organic, you know, um, grass-fed and free-range, cruelty-free. Because how animals are treated today are very bad. It's all about profit in today's world. People don't, people don't give a crap about anybody or anything. They just want that extra cent, you know. So if you think about it, if 10 billion people gives gives you a, uh, one cent, that's a hundred million dollars. So. Uh, exercising isn't that hard in one of my previous videos I had said just exercise 20 minutes you know three or four times a week intensely that's how quick it is I mean 20 minutes a day you wor you warm up for four minutes you work out for 20 minutes intensely and then you rela uh, stretch out for four minutes so that's 27 28 minutes um, times three that's that's 90 minutes a week that's all you have to do I mean if you can't do that I don't know what it's and exercising really um boosts happiness because it makes you confident, you lose weight, you feel stronger, you you release natural chemicals in your body that's healing yourself, you know, burning fat, getting rid of um, all the toxins in your body. So exercising is very good for you. Um, you also, you know, uh, get more energy. So you have, um, and you have a better mind and clearer mind and you can focus more when you exercise. So, I mean, look at all the benefits. People just don't understand because, one, it's not they don't understand because they don't want to and they make too much excuses. That's the problem. So, yes. And then, the key takeaway, okay. Exercising is like adding sprinkles to ice cream. It makes achieving happiness easier, faster, and better. So, okay, the next one is interact with people, nature, and animals. So, Picnics, concerts, movie theaters, malls, and so on. Why are they so popular? Well, people, we like when we're out in public with other people because we're humans. You know, we don't want to be alone all the time. I mean, very few of us do. I don't like being alone all the time. But when I'm working, I have to be alone. Or I can be in a cafe. It doesn't matter. But I need quiet. So, sorry for the noise outside. Okay. So, a baby, by 12 months, 18 months, it's already learned to produce some words. Why? Because of communication skills. So, as a human being, we need to communicate, interact. Look at pets. Having a pet, right? Doesn't it just make you feel good every time you come home? I mean, your family, they just say, hey, hi. But your pet always comes to you. It makes you feel so happy. In the morning, you know, they wake you up. They're always there for you and they show like real emotions. I mean, I had a pet, a white Shiba Inu, and he was everything to me. And when I gave him up because I had to travel the world, it was it was sad because uh, I felt like I lost a life, but you know, that's part of life. So I'm telling you, and being out in nature is so wonderful, you know. You especially when you meditate out in nature, you can feel the wind, you can feel the earth. The birds, the people, everything's so alive. You feel alive. That's the thing about people they don't understand. It's like, if they're miserable, they think being inside is going to solve their problem, watching movies or listening to music. That helps. But I'm telling you, the moment you go outside, you take a walk. Go on a camping trip. Go on a hike. Do whatever you can to be out in nature. I'm not saying be out in nature 24-7 because you have work to do. You know, but me, I can't work unless I'm sitting by the window looking at the sky. If you put me in prison and work and I made a million dollars a year, I would never do that. I would be willing to work for the average wage next to a window because I want to feel alive and I love nature and it makes me happy. And sunlight also makes you happy. So that's why it's very good to get sunlight, not when it's bright, you know, in the early morning or evening is the best time. So also when you talk to people, you develop a trust, a bond. I mean, no one marries. Nowadays, there's very little bit of arranged marriage, only in some culture. 
but how do you marry someone well you gotta know them you gotta they literally have to be your second soul i mean your soulmate you have to know everything about them you develop trust and bond and when you marry them what does it give you happiness so when you're with them all the time you're happy okay so the outdoor niche generates 21 billion dollars a year and has about 63 million users that's just in the u.s so as you can see that's very high and people love being outdoors because it makes them feel good i mean i love camping my friends were all outdoors enthusiastic and okay so the key takeaway for this is human need many things in our life to make us happy and give us a sense of fulfillment pets other human beings nature external factors can help bring more joy to our lives find out what brings more joy to your life you know listening to music also taking long showers you know dancing is really good having a girlfriend or a boyfriend you know or just having friends in general whatever you can to be happy do it it really makes living worth it okay so happiness is a state of mind you've heard of wealth is a state of mind you know a man who has a dollar can be the richest man or a man who has a trillion dollars can be the richest man what he thinks is what he knows and what he perceives so for me I don't think I'm the richest man but I think I have one of the most fulfilling lives in the world because after so many months well after a year or a year and a half of researching and just meditating and understanding what life really is I've learned to appreciate everything so for me I would rather have I mean I would rather help 100 billion people than to half a hundred billion people so let's say you were given a choice just randomly you know for example someone said to you okay would you rather help a hundred billion people or give a hundred or half a hundred billion dollars well you would probably say well give me the hundred billion dollars to help the 100 billion people you could do it like that so but most people would just rather have the hundred billion dollars so what I'm saying is happiness is all about you I can't tell you, you know, eating an ice cream makes you happy because if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. For me, eating an ice cream is okay. I like it sometimes, but the last time I had an ice cream was, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago. So, um, I used to be a very negative person. And for how many years? From middle school until I was like 23. So for at least 12 years, 11 years I was a very negative person it wasn't until I, st I started being positive just you know never making excuses or complaining about anything and my life really did change I literally you know became a whole new person so if you're always a negative person just literally it will take time but just start think about being happy all the time there's many people who have it worse than you I'm telling you so many people imagine if you were disabled or blind or deaf how would you feel so there's people like that and they live every day to life enjoying themselves so it's all about here once you learn to control your mind you can and master it you can do anything you want in this world so uh, beer cigarettes all that you think it's giving you pleasure but in the long run it's not so much pleasure will eventually wear down your true happiness you know i don't drink that much anymore i don't really i rarely smoke maybe when i go drinking maybe one cigarette like one cigarette every two weeks maybe so for me just being high on life is what makes me happy so wake up every morning and be thankful that your life healthy and richer than 90 percent of the people in the world so just imagine that everyone makes mistakes it's the ones who keep on doing and without change are the ones bound to be doomed so the key takeaway for this is happiness has always been inside of me it just I just never took the time and effort to let it out so happiness is always within you okay so you have to understand that you have to let it out with you every day if you're gonna suppress it and you're gonna think, okay, doing other things is gonna make you happy, like pleasurable things, like I said, try to stop those, literally. Once you can actually feel what happiness really is, then you will understand how to live. Thank you. Hi, 
Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really liked it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Also, we have our website, easylifejourney.com, where you can refill articles and where we post weekly new articles and blogs. You can also check out our Facebook and our Instagram, Easy Life Journey. Thank you so much again for your time and have a great day.